Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Dead. Welcome to Fallout 76. I went all the flipping way to West Virginia for this game, and I learned a lot about it there. And then I stayed up until 4 a.m. to play the Xbox beta and learned a lot more about this game, but here we are. The PC version is finally here. I'm finally feeling like I'm starting to know this game properly, so uh, let's get in here. Oh, yes, this is going to be lovely. You know, as that woman is actually seated in what appears to be a position of honour, is wearing a vault suit. I'm guessing that's actually the overseer. That's presumably the person who, yeah, we're actually trying to uh, chase down this whole time. So, here we are. Time to pick a photo for my ID card. And naturally, of course, we are going to be going for the sexiest view in the entire room. Oh yeah, baby. Show me those screws. Perfect. And ooh, Fallout 76 running in higher than 30 frames a second. Oh, I approve. I greatly approve. Give me that pit boy let's get the flip out of here. So, in case you're new, it's a couple of decades after the war, and it's time for us to leave the vault. Everyone else already did, it's just I drank a bit too much, and thus I've just kind of been sleeping in late. That's actually genuinely the reason why your character's supposed to still be here when everyone else has already naffed off. I've got... Miss John! Hello! Out there in oh, Appalachia. Finally! I can... This is the Overseer, signing off. And we've already run into the first bit of the plot. Where is the Overseer gone? We have to track them down. And I missed this first one passed through. Yeah, actually, just like in Fallout 4, uh, the actual handies can say a bunch of names. So they referred to me as Miss John, and I'm just flipping thrilled about that. So time to just head through this vault, grab myself water, rad X. You know, the vault looks nice and simple. It's pretty much just a nice straight line corridor. Lots of streamers, lots of balloons. I'll be taking those precious, precious stim packs. Oh, blimey. My time in the Xbox beta has very much taught me that stim packs are a precious and not exactly common commodity. So, you know, just keep grabbing stuff and then just keep following the signs. Or totally ignore this particular sign and go check out the overseer's terminal. Because, yeah, there's creepy stuff afoot in here. Like how Vault Tech's making a weird power play, suggesting that, yeah, other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, their claims are to be ignored. Vault Tech alone maintains jurisdiction, or how residents were locked in their rooms to maintain order. And perhaps most significantly of all, how the Overseer has been told to go and try and secure nuclear silos. So, Vault Tech certainly up to something, shall we say, but let's not worry about that for now. Let's instead just head on our way, grab myself a cab, and get out there because, uh, oh yes, I do rather want to see what this whole area looks like in beautiful, beautiful PC vision. And as I actually grab my perk cards to begin leveling up, yep, 200 XP for free, and that should give me my first level up. So, just as a quick reminder, special start off one across the board, every single level up to 50, you boost your special by one, and then you pick a perk card to improve your character. However, you can pick any perk card, it doesn't matter which special you pick, so just pick whichever special suits you the best. But personally, I have a great love for Perception and Vats. I think it's kind of fun in this game. I'm really interested where Vats builds actually go. So I'll be taking a point of Perception right away and Concentrated Fire to go with it. So you can actually target limbs and Vats. Absolutely perfect. So, install that and a whole bunch of empty slots still available. Still, that's probably good enough for the time being. Game, I think you know what time it is. I need to leave a vault. There's a vault door in the way. Roll the music. Let's flip and do this. Here we are, out into West Virginia. Right, time to get myself set up there. I'm just going to say, oh, I was about to say hello to Cash Cow, but Cash Cow has indeed decided to wander off. So, let's just do ourselves a quick bit of looting. Got myself, ooh, okay. I tell you what, that's generous. That corpse previously just had the gun and the ammo. Got myself some extra drugs on there. Beautiful. Don't forget to pick flowers, by the way. Flowers are useful. And also, just skip by the little Mr. Handy. He's going to point me at the overseer's camp. But I'm more interested in the machete that's going to be down here on this corpse. Together with Medex as well. Well, this is interesting. Okay, that was not here in the Xbox beta. Obviously, you know, they're making changes as time goes by. 
And here we've got someone from the Responders. We're running into them very, very soon indeed. Uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a Responder corpse right there, but they've got more drugs on them. It seems that more stuff is being dropped than was being dropped previously, because certainly there's a lot more drugs floating around straight away. Still, let's get that machete out and go kill ourselves some little Liberator bots, because they are guarding a couple of nice little ammo caches that will be very helpful in helping us get started. Excuse me, excuse me, cash cow. I wanted some of- I wanted some of this. There we go. I went myself to fusion cells, steel scrap, and one propaganda flyer. Yep, these little bots were dropped in by China. Sadly, these little bots have been killed before I could get to them. Boo. Boo, I say. And yeah, the thing I really learned from the Xbox beta is grab literally everything. No matter how useless it looks, just grab it anyway. Take literally everything because there's basically no penalty for actually being... Oh, hello. Respond to simple. Okay, that's nice. I'll be having some extra ammo there. Didn't notice that was there previously. Because, yeah, it's very easy to just break stuff down at pretty much any point. Like, within the next 10 minutes, I'll have in my inventory the ability to break down literally anything at basically any point. So, that will be absolutely spot on. Oh, and I hadn't noticed this rather nice little tank that was actually, yeah, just positioned outside the vault there. So, obviously, you know, when the apocalypse came, people tried to rush the vault, but, uh... Yeah, the army was there to stop them, just like we actually saw in Fallout 4. This kind of feels in some ways like, yeah, a bit of a, a missing piece of the puzzle. In Fallout 4, obviously, we were able to see the moments the actual bombs fell. And here in Fallout 76 now, we can see the immediate aftermath, if you will. What happened in the 20-odd years thereafter. It's cool. It's very, very cool indeed. It's just a fun little new perspective. Also, by the way, you can just die and I'll be helping myself to fusion cells and scrap. And more importantly, this box right here. One grenade. You know what? It's better than a kick in the teeth. So, time to head out into the wilderness, find the overseer's camp. Take out a couple of little robots while we're there. You can just die to a couple of swings. Shame I didn't take a point of strength. Looks like I might actually almost be able to one-shot you if I had. But you know what? Two shots is fine. You're not exactly doing much in the way of damage to me. Now, respond bot if I'm lucky. Ooh, enhanced targeting card. Yeah! There has most definitely been a bit of a rejigging of what scrap is being dropped by what. I'm getting more drugs off the corpses. I'm getting more advanced components off the robots. That has most definitely changed a little bit. Yes. Oh, and flipping perfect. We got ourselves a rad stag doe right here. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Come back here. Yeah, that's right. Corner yourself in a room. That's a marvellous idea. You just keep doing that, why don't you? That'll work. And that gets me meat and hide. And that is leather. Now, where'd your friend go? Something I learned on the Xbox, and a very easy thing to miss, wood piles are very, very important. Every time you see a wood pile, always gather off it. Just kind of go up to it, click A on it, get yourself some wood scraps. You need wood for basically everything, in particular, all forms of cooking. Now, I assume that was because you were making skewers, but as someone actually pointed out to me in the comments of the Xbox videos, yes, it makes a lot more sense to assume it represents fuel for the fire. So, that's much more likely, yes. And oh my goodness, just look at all the new players. Look at everyone just all clustered together. Oh, I need to make my way down south towards Flatwoods. And hello, we've got a little Protectron here. Are you a Lumberjack? Three plus Lumberjack Protectron equals desirable wood product offloading access wood to responsible human now. Oh, I like this guy. This guy's good. I approve of him. And obviously he's guarding a lumber mill. Lights on here. I hear something scuttling. Hello! You're a tick! So I guess we'll just start murdering you then. And help ourselves to medicine psychobuff. Yeah, they have definitely changed the drug spawn rate. There are a lot more drugs floating around than there once were. A lucky encounter early on at Wixom. Got myself a boss scorch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please naff off. Go away. I've already killed your boss. I now just want to loot, please. Because he's dropped himself. Whoa, what the heck? He's dropped himself. Okay, you just dropped yourself four hunting rifles, a baseball bat, a pipe pistol, and multiple bits of leather armor. That is the most generous drop I've literally ever seen off a boss enemy. Possibly meaning those guys have been changed too. Okay, brilliant. 
Now that, that is all interesting. In particular, that their baseball bat. That has got to be, oh yeah, 29 damage. I think I've got a new best friend. And I think I've also got myself the ability to break down a whole bunch of short hunting rifles. Now, which is the best condition? That one looks pretty decent. So break down all the rest of them. Beautiful. Did I just learn about the reflex site immediately? Oh, this is this is a blessed playthrough right flipping here. I can tell already. Now I've got myself a baseball bat. Yeah, you know what? I think I really like my baseball bat, actually. I think I'm going to just whack you all with a baseball bat until you all die. Oh, yeah, now this. This is the thing right here. The baseball bat is wonderful. Now, that's a really lucky drop, but unfortunately, it's going to start falling behind over time. Because, of course, having picked that up early, it means I'm not going to be able to find more and break them down, so I won't be able to improve it. Though, what I will say is... Bobblehead leader? Hello, bobblehead leader. So when used 5% more XP for one hour. That's probably not a bad thing for me to take. Because in the early game, you've actually got yourself a big old pile of quests you can do really super quickly. Oh, I just had a tiny frame rate stutter there. This is interesting. So the frame rate obviously is a lot higher on PC than on console. But there are most definitely still frame rate stutters. That is most definitely the case. Now, has anyone been through here recently? Or can I get myself a couple of... No, there's definitely at least one dog around here. And two hits from a baseball bat will sort you. Oh, that's another boss enemy. Two boss enemies before I even make it to... Oh. Hello, forest tre... Is that three flipping treasure maps? Oh, Christmas has come early. Right, well, let's have a little look see at these then. Assuming we know there's not... Are there more dogs coming? Not yet. Forest treasure map. Okay. So, south... Uh, cliffs... Somewhere near... Is that Wixen? That might be Wixen. Are you coming for me? Okay, they're nearby. Savage Divide. That's the mountains. That is... Okay. That's close by to Top of the World, the big radio transmitter. Roughly know where that is too. Toxic Valley. That is very far up north because that's the um, the space station at the rear. Also, Radaway, right Meat and whatever. Okay, so a boss enemy just basically gave me multiple treasure maps. Now this... This is interesting. I've never been treasure hunting before, but now I really, really want to start. By the way, I'm gonna... Oh, 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 oh yes. Yes. I'm actually slightly in romantic and possibly sexual love with this here baseball bat. And this will also get me a big old pile of mutt chops, so we are very good in terms of food for the time being. So, of course, you've got to eat and drink. It's barely a big issue, but you do technically have to. And hello? Was someone just crying for help down there? Hello, is someone in need of assistance? Because I have stim packs. I'm willing to come and help you. Hello, my good man. Are you down on the ground? You're down on the ground. I'm going to assist with you, actually. Oh, no, you're you're dead. Oh, and I just found Cheswick the cat. Oh, someone mentioned a Cheswick in the comments at one point. Right. Poor Cheswick is very dead. Possibly eaten by a scorchified former master of Cheswick. Oh, Cheswick, I'm so sorry. Now, here's something I've been wanting to see. Flipping rain! <laughs> I've played this game for 11 hours, 3 in West Virginia, versus, uh, hang on, no, come back here. Come back here. Okay, if you're going to force me to, you know what, you'll do as well. Oh, the baseball bat. The power of the baseball bat. <laughs> 3 hours in West Virginia, 8 hours across the Xbox betas, and I never once saw this flipping weather system that Bethesda kept mentioning. Here it is. It's raining. Marvellous. I will say, I really do like how flipping flimsy you are at the beginning of the game in Fallout 76. Like, you have no action points. You can barely sprint. If you want to be good at something, you actually have to invest it. You want to sprint, you take agility. You want to use vans, you take perception. You're not fundamentally amazing or even that good at anything. Which is the perfect antidote, I'd say, to Fallout 4. Where, if you were playing as the female character, you were a lawyer pre-war who, within 10 minutes of waking up, decided to put on power armor, grab a minigun, and shoot down a deathclaw. Which was slightly ridiculous, yes. Now, that treasure map, it mentioned some mountains south of a farm. I think it is the Wixen Homestead. Oh my goodness, I love that my office fan picture now shows up on all the loading screens. That's amazing. Now, let's have a little look-see here. From the house itself, if you were going to be going south from there, there absolutely are some rocks. Oh wait, hang on. That's a bridge. That's a house right next to a bridge. That's definitely a bridge, and that's a river. 
Right, I might be off here. Yeah, this isn't right. While there's a bridge over there, close-ish to the Wixen homestead, it's not close enough. So, I'll need to just keep that in mind. I've got myself, yeah, a couple of treasure maps here, but don't quite know where they're pointing yet. By the way, all of my lovely looting and crafting and whatever around this convenient overseer's camp that points me in the direction of Flatwoods over here has also let me level up. Which is probably a very good thing to do. Now, I found that baseball bat, meaning this is just now meant to be. So, let's get some baseball bat going on here. abso flipping lootly Concentrated fire. If I'm going to be baseball batting, it's not so important. Yeah, what do we need around here? I wouldn't mind myself. Yeah, action girl. Action points regenerating 15% faster. That is certainly very, very nice indeed. I wouldn't mind scrounger or farmer farmer as well, actually. Those are pretty good. You know what? I will go for action girl. It seems pretty urgent because, yeah, action points just run out so fast. Get that installed. Lovely. Move straight on. Now, time to check if anyone's already looted literally my favourite room in the entirety of Fallout 76. Bastards, they have. You know what? It's not too surprising. But this room contains a, a huge amount of lead in the form of uh, the various weights. And hello, sorry, I missed you actually. Oh, oh, have we got ourselves a... No, you're dead. You're just clinging to a wall. That's very impressive. And we got ourselves a little government supply drop here. Oh, hello. You're a diseased rad roach. Maybe I shouldn't eat what you're dropping. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, a nice government supply drop. Right into the actual, uh, yeah, swimming pool. People just call these down, by the way, and then obviously, you know, they're shared between everyone. Normally, they can be a bit dangerous, but right now, as everyone is actually low level, below level 5. Actually, you know what? Let's just check the session. What's the highest level we've got going on here? Level 3s. Uh, someone's already got up to level 6. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some people are basically power leveling at this point. Gotcha. In fact, actually, it must be said, people are spreading out a lot faster they did in the Xbox beta. People are spreading out all over the shop. But then I suppose a lot of people have seen videos that were put out about the Xbox beta and all of that. So yeah, people are ready to move on nice and quickly. Now, Flatwoods, home of the responders, home of, uh, yeah, surprisingly uh, depressing stories. Various kind of, you know, former residents just chilling out around here. Just, uh, yeah, people who have managed to... Ooh. You've got yourself a flipping gas mask on on this occasion, lardy flipping da. So, okay, I'll be having all of your stuff, by the way, but... Ooh, dog tags. And that's laid out. Not a container. Ooh. Were you former military? Oh, I missed that bit of your story last time. And cat bowl as well. Well, not sure where the cat is, but not around here these days, poor Sophie Yates. Yeah, people who killed themselves, people who couldn't take it anymore... Not everyone was killed by the Scorch Plague, those little weird zombie things we saw up by the farm. Some people just, yeah, couldn't quite handle it in this new world. You know, I've already commented in the past about how interesting and how detailed and how many stories there are just dotted around this tiny, tiny starting town in Flatwoods, but the stuff I missed, like right here, we've actually got ourselves a house that had a gate. Gates and barbed wires set up. And then, yeah, various tools dotted around here. Low torches and Scott Shepherds. Money Radix and Scott's Reminders. Remember, set up a trap for the you-know-whos. Use holotapes to try and record their noises at night. Get a lock for the secret stash. Buy the Brahmin tubs behind the house. Get a bigger gun, more guns or both. Try and tame the wild dog or giant rat. R.I.P. Perry, you sweet. Aww. Okay, so this guy basically refused to engage with the responders at all. He just became a total isolationist. Now, Brahmin tubs round the back of the house. Here we go. Ah, okay. Just this cooler, I guess. Boiled water bubblegum and Nurse Scott. Ah, Nurse Scott. Okay, so what was your story in that case? Responder Dasa gave me some supplies in exchange for my survivor story. So, hi. My name is Scott Shepard. Things are going all right. I was a nurse before the war, and I, I guess nothing much has changed. I just work for the responders now. I don't get paid. I, the government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. Everyone knows this. You want to 
curious what his dog actually found when his dog had green stuff in his mouth i mean i would guess there might be i don't know some glowing fungus around here but okay there might be more here than i'm thinking right now i don't see anything obvious but there's clearly some story here. Okay, maybe I'll look into that later. But for the time being, I should probably pop that bobblehead for bonus XP and then do the very, very quick, easy quests in this part of the world. Because, yeah, you can get a lot of XP very quickly. Especially if you murder some cows, yes. So, I've just been very quickly doing the little baby's first introductory quest to boiling water. I think I just picked up something... Very important there. Did I just flipping see that I just happened to have drawn by chance deep pocketed limbs? Because if I just drew deep pocketed leather limbs, this is just a flipping blessed playthrough. That would be amazing. And there we go. I am now a member of the responders in good standing. Get myself. Hang on. Let's see what rewards I have to draw here. Because yeah, the plans seem to be standardized. Tinker's workbench, wood scraps, plan for hunting rifle. And there we go. Final departure, of course. Head north to Morgantown. Did that in the Xbox version. Not going to do that on this occasion. And have reached level 5. Which is very, very, very important. Because level 5 comes with all sorts of benefits. But actually, I haven't even done the level up to level 4 yet. So I should probably do both of them right now, shouldn't I? Because level 4 gets me my first perk car pack. Oh, the perk car packs are fun. I do appreciate this. So what's going to be my first animated shiny? Pharmacist, level 6, happy camper, iron fist. Oh, it's a shiny action girl. I flipping love the shiny action girl because I love action girls. Having a shiny action girl is great. Now, obviously, that means I'm going to be taking a point of agility immediately. I want the AP anyway. I don't want to take action girl again, though, because, of course, I've already got two, so I wouldn't be able to actually use it. Right, what else do we have around here? Hackers just become available. Wow, I didn't know that was actually only at level 4 or 5. I thought that took a little bit longer to show up. I could actually have a second rank of Concentrated Fire, take Concentrated Fire up, but I also wouldn't mind taking First Aid. Either those would be good. I wouldn't mind taking Farmer Farmer either. Yeah, you know what? I might just take Farmer Farmer. Farmer Farmer is interesting. And yes, as I've been completely missing, I've learned this today, it's not passive. You have to actually search a chem container in order to get the benefit from it, which is... That's weird. That's so, so weird. I'll show that off soon. Scrounger or Farmer Farmer? Would I rather have First Aid? Ooh, these are tough choices. Yeah, you know what? I can't resist Concentrated Fire. I'm going to take Concentrated Fire. Not least as I am about to level up again, John, so don't overthink this too much. And yes, I can actually upgrade my Concentrated Fire straight into a two. And there we go. One minor point of intelligence. Probably not a bad thing to invest in early. I'm going to be doing an awful lot of breaking stuff down. Yeah, sure. I've taken intelligence right now, and what else has just become available that's new? Well, there is first aid. Wouldn't mind that first aid. That first aid is certainly tempting. Lock picking is nice, though. You know what? I'll just take an extra rank of strength, which will be useful just for the carry weight, and then I am actually going to take myself right now. I'm going to take scrounger for additional ammo. So let's get that in play, because scrounger is Quite flipping useful, Scrounger one. So, now I can do all sorts of things. Like, one, pull this card down immediately. And rank up my Action Girl card to be an animated rank two. Oh, that's the stuff. 
get that right in there. Uh, I can put Scrounger in place. Pharmacist, not till level 6. Happy Camper, Hunger and Thirst down when in a camp. May as well, quite frankly. Concentrated Fire, rank 2. That is up to... Yeah, so that is uh, Focus Fire getting accuracy and damage per shot going up each time. Love that. And I may as well have Iron Fist, even though I'm not just going to be using it for much at all. Kind of Pharmacist yet. Beautiful. Now... Being level 5, I also have access to, I believe, the level 5 armors. I've been holding off making much in the way of armor for a while. And light armor. Here we are. Yeah, level 5 stuff. So I may as well actually break down all of my existing armor. Because I'm going to make a whole fresh set here. Now, I've also unlocked boiled leather immediately, which is not terrible. What I'm really interested in is, have I actually unlocked... No, I thought I had deep pockets. Did I not have deep pockets? I could have sworn I saw I had deep pockets. Boo! Wait, hang on. I think I have to... No, I'm just forgetting to read it. I'm totally just forgetting to read it, hopefully. I really hope I am. Yes, the plans. The plans, the plans. Deep pocketed leather armor limbs. Oh, I actually have this now. This is going to be the best flipping thing. And the chemistry workbench, meaning I now have a workshop with me in my camp 100% of the time whenever I want. Which is amazing too. So, now. Now, 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 now. Now everything is going to be wonderful. I think that was just for the arms, wasn't it? Deep pocketed. Oh. Well, obviously, you need armor of three for that. <laughs> okay, that's actually some way off. Never mind. I've got the plan. Don't have the perk, though. What a shame. I'll tell you what. I like the color of the boiled leather more. So, I'll just move everything over to that as well. And when I say I like the colour of this more, uh, say goodbye to it because I'm about to put on actual armour and thus never see it again. And when I say actual armour, I just mean my paramedic jumpsuit. I like my paramedic jumpsuit. It's good. I think it's nice. I also like that I can now attack possums with such ferocity that I batter them out of the universe. That's good too. Now, I have seen... Yeah, obviously there's the Vault Tech Agricultural Centre over in this direction. Which is really, really cool. And, okay, why are you running in my way? Don't run in my way. I'm doing a thing. Yeah, vault Agricultural right here. But was there a, a bigger building just around the corner looking at the map here? Yeah, there's the vault Agricultural Research Centre. Fine. But there's clearly something else here. And, hang on, why do you want me to... To search this place. I don't see why I should search this place. Well, actually, I know exactly why you want me to search this place. It's because you want me to find the first overseer little kind of holotape thing. And I can't help but notice. Ah, hang on. Glowing fungus. Now I wonder if this is what Scott's dog actually saw. Excuse me, are you shooting me right now? Stop it at once. Though, hand over your lead scrap to me. I'll have your lead scrap very happily. Oh, hang on. Someone in trouble. Hang on, I'm gonna... I will come and help you in just a second. I will do that. I'm a nice person. Where are you? Where are you, my good man? Where are you? Are you I'm... I will be there in a second. Okay, don't even try it, Mr. Farmhand. I'm wearing good quality armor. There's a person over... I don't know why there's a person. There was totally a person who needed help, but unfortunately they've naffed off now. And yeah, here we go. So under Scrounger, I can take 5 and 20 for fusion cells and 10 millimeter rounds. Or I can do a search action, which has a 40% chance of generating, I assume, something new to appear there. Though I didn't get it on this occasion. If you don't do that, you don't get the benefit of Scrounger, of Farmer Farmer, of... Is there Cap Collector in this game? I'm not sure Cap Collector's in this game. But if it is in this game, you don't get the benefits of that either. You know, I was just having a quick wander around Flatwoods again. Just checking, just in case there was anything else here. And I found the, um, the funeral home. We had ourselves... Yeah, there we go. A funeral actually in progress. Whatever happened here happened so suddenly. It was the middle of... An actual funeral. There's a little remember them board up here. Yeah! I think, like, in some ways, this might possibly be, like, one of the darkest Fallouts that I've ever played. I mean, there's not much of the wacky comedy of uh, Fallout 4 or some of Fallout 3's submissions. It has a lot more in common with, uh, yeah, the very lonely, grim, desperate tone of uh, Fallout 3, which also borrows a lot from most of the very first Fallouts. But, yeah, there's... A lot of darkness here. So here in the funeral home, dealing with survivor's guilt was an issue. Step one, learning how to forgive yourself. Because these are the people who survived the bombs. 
this can take a long time. In fact, it can take a lifetime. You survive something tragic, and that's difficult for anybody. Find someone to talk to. And there's only half a note there. And then we've got ourselves here. The memory board. And... Ah, wait, hang on. Is this going to be from Colonel? This is totally going to be from... So... What I found when I played on the Xbox beta was there's a note from Colonel who, yeah, basically thought that his dad had potentially died or what have you and was struggling to accept it. And over time, he said, I forgive you, Dad. I get it now. Taking care of kids is hard. It was too hard for you. You were young. It was just too much. I get it. I do. I'm an adult now, too. Well, it took a long time to understand why he did it. I'm not mad, though. But I'm going to do the opposite of what you did. I'm going to find kids and make sure they're okay. And that's exactly what we know did happen. Colonel recovered from his survivor's guilt and his inability to deal with his father's death. And he went on to become, yeah, a caretaker for children. Okay, this is... That's very moving, actually. That's very, very moving indeed. Also, does someone need shooting outside quickly? Do we have an event? Does someone need... Nope, they're taking care of the event by themselves. That's all absolutely fine. More over here. Sorry, Tabitha. They are all dead. And you hurt them. They suffered because of you, honey. Cuddles Sophie. Oh. The slightly antisocial person who killed herself. We found her corpse at the back of her house. But Tabitha, the person she's speaking to... Well, I'm just going to play her story quickly. <laughs> Because her story is grim. Tabitha's story. I'm just going to play this while I uh, go and head up and find the 10mm that's hidden in the outskirts of town. Okay. <sighs> I've been sober for nine days. Mm, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> the war, the bombs, I, I just... I just realized this was uh, <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the Kens were playing tricks with my mind. Hurting my brain. But it was the worst trip ever. Every time I had come out of my haze long enough to look for food, I'd find more chems and, well, I kept going. And I kept seeing madness. Look, um, I would have been wandering around fighting giant rats and eating garbage if not for the responders. They're... They're good folks. That doc in the church, um, he got me some meds that are helping out a lot. And they have group therapy meetings, and, and it's good, it's good. I, I, I think it's helping. But listen, um, you should avoid the mountains. <laughs> They'll just get you mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. Hurting people. I remember so many chems up there. I spent too long there and I hurt people. I couldn't think right. I, I couldn't. Oh, it's okay, Tabitha. Remember what we said in the group? Take your Addictol and rest, and things will be okay soon. It's okay. We're here for you. Yeah. I'm taking it. When I feel better, I'm going out west, though. Getting out of this place. Getting out, getting away from the cams, all of this. I feel better every day, but, you know, here's the cams. Years of rads, years of sleeping in the muck. It adds up. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to sleep now, okay? Okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Tabitha. Get some sleep. 
You'll be okay. You're safe now. So what we just had there, and I can't really remember an instance of this happening in Fallout before, was basically a, a sympathetic origin to the Raiders or the Fiends of New Vegas. This is a woman who ended up in just a, a total drug haze because of, well, she just got stuck in the mountain with what were the origins of the Raiders of this region and she just didn't know what was happening. She didn't even know this was post-apocalypse. And yeah, that's... That's very sad. The whole thing is... It's very, very sad indeed. And this game is just full of those little tiny dark stories. Like, there's such a ridiculous amount just in Flatwoods. It's crazy. I oh, remember that funeral home, by the way. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a truck outside with two more coffins. They couldn't bury their dead fast enough. That's what happened in here. Oh, and this is just flipping heartbreaking. So there's a second note from Colonel to his dad, but this was obviously a much earlier note when he was a kid. I am staying in the bell tower of the church. I have cereal and something and a sleeping bag for both of us. Oh, for both of us. So that was when he thought his dad was coming back. And almost certainly more from Colonel. Yeah, there we go. And okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very dark fallout, this one, okay? It's really flipping dark. Also, I may have previously stated that it was annoying that you weren't able to, you know, filter the volunteer bot's infantry. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. I just didn't see it. Sorry. Is some idiot trying to attack me right now? Yeah, some idiot's trying to attack me right now. I'm just going to say hello. Are you actually going to try and do this, you bloody idiots? Well, you can try. You won't actually be able to pull it off. I mean... Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Just just go ahead. I'm just going to tell them I love them. They can just waste their ammo or they flip in one. I don't really care, quite frankly. Now, what do I just pick up? Because I just got myself a very special... Is that a flipping legendary? It is as well. Okay, one on low health. Plus three to all stats excluding endurance. One low health, which I'm allowed to put on immediately. Well, that's flipping nice. You know what? I'm heading west out of town. I have never been this way before. So I am kind of curious what might be sitting out in this direction. Because what I would really need to do is, yeah, start getting hold of a Perfect World, some Scorch. The thing about Scorch is they will drop... Oh, is that an Angry Protectron by any chance? Yes, I think that's an Angry Protectron. Well, that's fine. In fact, actually, it's a, it's a whole big old pile of them. Just give me one second, please. I'm just going to need myself a better rifle for this sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure I haven't got you favourited yet. Yeah, 45, hunting rifle. I think there's actually a couple of them right there. That'll be a decent spot for a grenade, I would say. And just put in a few more shots there. Lovely. Finish you off, please. Job done. Right, that gets me. Yeah, military-grade circuit boards. Level 5 Protectrons did not use to drop them. And enhanced targeting cards flipping everywhere. That is very, very nice indeed. And it looks to me like this might actually lead to what I assume is supposed to be pretty much... Yeah, baby's first workshop, the first workshop in the game, because that is the workshop symbol. Let's just see if I can, no, I'm not close enough yet, Let's see if anyone's claimed it. Workshop yours for, yeah, this session's been pretty packed to be honest, but not one person has come this direction and bothered taking a workshop, so, okay, I see no reason why not. Ah, this is just a food producing one, I'll leave that then, but while I'm passing by, I'll gladly just help myself to, yeah, just a handful of raw resources straight out of the ground, uh, and move straight on forwards too. No need to worry about a food producing place. That's not particularly useful to me. I have got more than enough meat to keep myself going. But I am interested in a great big lit up building over there. And what looks like... Hill Folk Hot Dogs. Alright. Well, apparently... I'm in a spot of danger right now. Yeah! That... That there... That would explain the danger. Mole rats, nothing major. Fine, take them out, no problem. Hello, I hear you popping up. You even allowed to pop up inside? I'm not sure you are. I guess I'll just... Wait, hang on. I'll step outside after I get out the baseball bat. Baseball bat feels like the sort of thing for taking out you bastards. Anytime you're flipping ready. Yep, here we go. Level 7 and you were a king, including yet more treasure maps. Flipping love it. I'll have... Wait, that's the same treasure map I already found, you bastards. 
Well, that's just rude of you. And this, of course, is, yeah, a post-apocalypse business. Burgers and dogs, but being built into a bus. This wasn't something that existed pre-war. This is something that was created post-war. So this guy just took an old abandoned bus and just tried to turn it into a shop. That's what things were like immediately after the apocalypse. Things were still, yeah, just about together enough that all oh, cooking oil, I love cooking oil, that people would actually try and set up little small businesses. That's cute. And this isn't just a circuit breaker. This is being listed as an actual Poseidon plant, which suggests a potentially slightly bigger deal that I'm giving it credit for. It's also making some slightly concerning rumbling noises. Why is it doing that? Activate that. Oh, hello! Yes, you're a Scorched! And a King Scorched as well! Which is marvellously good news, because that's just free bonus stuff. Now, where are your friends? Because I'll batter them with a baseball bat too. Now this here is just what I wanted. Whole bunch of Scorched equals a whole bunch of pipe pistols. So I can just basically pick them up and just break them straight down. XP, new mods are all sorts of useful stuff. No workbench though, which is quite frankly surprising for an industrial type thing. Yeah, whatever this place does, I can't do it yet. Presumably, I don't have the right components to do anything with it. And, uh, alright, you know what? There was a free one right next door, but you do you. And more importantly, I've just hit level 6. And level 6 is... That's a great level. Because level 6 is... Another perk pack. Every two levels up to level 10, which is always fun. Inspirational. Pack rat. Oh, I want pack rat. Oh, I got first aid. Oh, I got shiny concentrated fire. Oh, I got shiny concentrated fire. Well, obviously now I can't actually not take that. Now I've got to take perception. So I can immediately do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hang on. So if I've got that, then where do I actually have space to put some in? I'm not sure if I've actually got an endurance card yet. Ah, but I do have slugger. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take slugger. Two-handed plus 10%. I'm enjoying two-handed. I'm literally using a baseball bat. It would be remiss of me not to take that. Okay, so quickly. Pull that down. And now rank this up to animated. Concentrated fire. Rank three. Yeah. Slugger, shove that in right there. Oh, oh, I'm so happy about life right now. This is just lovely as a starting point. And I've got first aid. I love first aid. Now, would I rather have Happy Camper or... Well, right now I'm playing by myself, so no need to put Inspirational in at all. Pack Rat unlocks next level, and 100% I will be putting that in immediately. Very, very important indeed. Yeah, pretty happy with the state of things right there. So, I'm now out to the middle of nowhere and I'm over encumbered, so I probably need to sort that out, which is why that plan for a chemistry workstation and whatever, that's pretty much the most important thing I've got in the world. Because I can now just find a nice quiet spot. I need to find the right spot for it, mind. Uh, it needs to be suitably far away from an existing location. I just need to find a spot where I can lay down my camp. Because my camp is now a mobile scrapping location. Here we go. Camp deployed. And if I want to, I don't even need to bother actually building the scrapping station because I can just actually put stuff straight into my camp. 400 capacity in there right away. But I should probably get down my... Yeah, what have I even got right now? I've got myself some basic floors. Fine, except that needs a foundation to actually be utilised for anything. Gotcha. Apparently I've got the plans for an armour workbench as well. Okay, that's fun. I didn't even realise I had that. Right, well, let's just give ourselves, uh, yeah, one foundation. The game's very fussy about foundations, and as it should be, because, you know, it's very hilly, this place. Very, very hilly indeed. So one basic foundation will do just fine for me to now lay down all the crafting I could ever want, including... Okay, how have I got this much already? This is... Wait, I've already got the weapons workbench too? Really? Oh, wow. This is a blessed playthrough right here. I did not have this. I did not have this at all previously. Good. Well, we could scrap all of this immediately and scrap all of my guns immediately too. And with that, ready to go. Now back under weight capacity. May as well just leave this thing here. Absolutely flipping marvellous. And looks like if I were to head directly south from where I am right now... I would actually reach... Well, I'd pass a small farm, which no one else seems interested in. But beyond that is the Nuka Factory. Now, I did see that very briefly while I was in West Virginia. 
I'm kind of curious, however, what's actually in it. Because the Nuka Factory does traditionally contain unique variants of... Hello. What's that in front of me? That is something quite large. Silver Homestead. Farm, but a lot bigger than the farm I ran into. Yeah, the Wixen farm earlier. Including... Yeah, it's got itself flipping car parks and uh, workstations and... Ooh! Tatoes. Everyone loves Tatoes. Uh, and carrots as well. There were blatantly four carrots there. Don't tell me I only had one. That is blatantly not true. Oh, we're just one-shotting ghouls at this point, including level nine bosses. Oh, yeah. Double rad away off you. Should have used that before you turned into a ghoul, really, shouldn't you? Bet you feel silly now. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I came this way. This is, this is very pretty. And I've also found myself some gravestones up here overlooking the farm. That's a nice little touch, just, you know, up here out of the way. Now, what do we have around here? Because, yeah, there's this little, oh, oh. Okay, Arctos Farmer Terminal. And some surprisingly advanced components here. I just thought this was a farm, but... Maybe there's a little more to it than that, actually. Oh, it's another one of the teddy fears. I don't like them. They're weird. I might just break that down just because it's, you know, slightly unnerving me. Especially, wait, hang on. There's, there's also coffins. Several coffins. Actually, um, just piled up here, out of the way, when nobody could see them. What is going on here? I don't like it. Project Beanstalk Overview. Confidential. So the purpose of this research is to evaluate the effectiveness of Arctos Pharma chemical compounds on crop yields. Three distinct experimental formulae will be deployed throughout the use of the Arctos Pharma bot for consistent and efficient distribution over the test fields. The bot will autonomously spray the designated locations and assess the impact. All data will be transmitted to the Project Beanstalk Laboratory at the Arctos Pharma headquarters on a regular basis. And the maintenance logs. Yeah, here we go. So all of this was pre-war stuff. So... It was installed, sprayed one of them excessively, fine. Minor damage to exterior casing, no to primarily scrapes and punctures. Local, ah, just local kids, nothing major, performing flawlessly, huzzah, and oh dear. At this point, the medical bot started just spraying chemicals in the kids' faces when they came back, and those kids, oh, the kids died. Oh, marvellous. The kids just died. Trouble again. Someone broke into the shed and stole some equipment. Might be those free states that just declared they aren't part of the USA anymore. Anyway, the robot's still going strong. Now, the free staters are, yeah, isolationist something or another or us. Now, this is potentially of interest. Because if they stole it, that means they're nearby. Alright, now I'm searching for a new faction. And if I had to guess, Random Shack may be in that direction, according to the actual... Uh, oh, hello. Claim the workshop. I think we could do that, actually. Yes, well, we'll see what sort of workshop it is at the bare minimum. So here we go. Mine for the taking. Yeah, no one seems that interested in the workshops right now. Once we get into the late game, people will be much more interested in workshops, I feel. Because they are... Ooh, I just shot you something off you something right there. Yeah, people are definitely going to be interested in workshops as time goes by. By the way, am I allowed to have this? No. Not just yet. Hang on. Where's my other enemies? Apparently there's another one around here somewhere. Hello, you're probably a local, aren't you? There we go. You give me... Oh, some of the exact ammo I need. Flipping spot on. Enemies cleared. Upstairs, check for any sign that you guys might be. The free sits. Ooh, the Unstoppables board game. I like that. I'll take some 308. Short hunting rifle. That's interesting. Short hunting rifle and a camera. That's an interesting choice of things to lay out next to each other. Purified water as well. Right. Drop down over here. I'm going to claim this place. Why is it claimable, though? What's the benefit of holding this? It is a whole bunch of... Ooh, black bricks. Haven't seen them around before. Such variety of flora and fauna in this game. Absolutely adore it. 
Yeah, claim it for 25 caps. I really should have checked if anyone was around here first. The answer is no. Everyone else has naffed off north. No one's interested in coming south. Got this whole area to myself. Sorry, did you just say gold? Gold deposit. I've just got a gold deposit that's mine, do I? Oh. Oh, I'm very happy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And that also just gets me a big old pile of XP and a bunch of defense-related resources. Now, what is this? Copper deposit. Okay, if I go into building mode, it'll show me where I'm allowed to, to build. So down over here, and then... Oh, wow, this is... This is a big area. Okay, that's cool. Now, the problem is, sooner or later, someone's going to come and try and take it from me. If players don't, then the AI will, just to, you know, keep you busy. What do we have down over here? Gold deposit. Right. I don't know why I really want gold, but now I know I can have it, I totally, totally am willing to be helping myself to some of that. Yes, mineral extractor gold. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, build one of them, and that needs 10. So how about we just get ourselves a bit of power here? And obviously, I'm not paying for any of this. This just comes automatically out of the resources that come with the settlement. So now... This thing is producing 25 gold an hour. Oh, I like the fact it's producing 25 gold an hour. That cheers me up no end. That's just free gold. Beautiful. Right, what else can this place make for me exactly? So, crystal. Okay, the Billings Homestead, as it turns out, is quite the nice place to have. Now, I need this thing to survive from whatever's going to attack it. And that means, perfect world, we need some defense for it. Some turrets. I can have myself, yeah, I can have myself a handful of turrets. So, I'm just going to lay some turrets down. Just pointing it, yep. Yeah, defend the homestead. Alright, I have prepared my defenses. That is certainly true. What am I defending? Am I seriously just defending against mongrels? That's ridiculous. Okay, I think we can handle a handful of... Yeah! Yeah! I think we got this, actually. I think we got this just fine. If anything, this might be a really, really nice way of just getting hold of a ton of meat. The one see meat spoils now, so uh, maybe not so much. Now, you can see, even if I wasn't here, this place would be able to defend itself. So you might get an alert that your place is about to be attacked, but there might be no point in actually, you know, bothering to do so. Because, you know, if you've set up your defences properly, if it's just the AI, then your turrets can probably handle it by themselves. Very, very easily, in fact. Yeah, these dogs have just been torn the hell apart. And I didn't even see that one coming. He's dead. Job done. I've defended my place. And as a result of defending my place, I actually am going to get myself in a moment a mission success. And that's just worth free XP. So just holding workshops against the AI is a decent source of XP, which is not bad at all. And the first gold scrap has been delivered as well. Marvellous. So event completed. That's going to get me... XP, money, some resources of some description, right away, etc. Yep, 225 XP. Not bad for a low-level character. Hello. Now, what does this mean? By any chance, does that mean free states? Because I've not run into the free states yet. I don't know what they look like. So, what have we got here? Tire irons. Nothing too exciting or sexy here. Basic tools. But, can do a bit of scrapping. Never turn down the chance to scrap. Right, let's get this old copper extractor going as well. May as well have that actually producing uh, a little bit of copper. And yeah, I want a bit of defense for that as well. But you can see here, the balance I'm making. I'm spending fixed resources that belong to the settlement. So, if I end up actually spending too much of my, say, oil on a whole bunch of turrets, I won't have oil to spend on all sorts of other stuff, like, for example, you know, more uh, workshop machines. So, right now I'm harvesting gold, and I'm harvesting copper, but I'm not harvesting a whole bunch of other stuff that is around here, dotted around somewhere. Can't help but notice, though. Further down the road, we've got ourselves, well, that looks distinctly to me like, hello... Foul tick. There's a foul tick somewhere, but is that a graveyard? Are we looking at a graveyard right now? Because I feel like I'm looking at a graveyard. Yep, I'm seeing gravestones, I'm seeing churches, and I'm seeing a boss tick. The boss tick is Okay, I'm I'm seeing other I'm seeing other things as well. No, I'm not. I'm just seeing Bethesda physics. What have you? 
And then we'll just... Oh, you know what? I'm not sure you're doing so hot. Now, where's the... There he is. There's the boss tick. Hello! We'll just get over there. Get myself up to level 7. Help myself to double stim pack. Now, that's valuable. Hello! Excuse me. Don't jump at me. It's mildly intimidating. And a plan for metal shelves. So, yeah. Explore. You'll just find random plans and slowly be able to build more and more stuff inside your settlement. And, oh dear... Those bags of cement turned out to be quite heavy. Would you believe it? A new flora showing up as well. Though actually, hang on. Are mushrooms technically flora? Or does flora specifically mean plant life and thus excludes fungi? Ooh, I don't know, but I guess so. Yes. Right, into the church. What have we got here? Because this thing is prominent and on top of a... Hello. Right. I'm not the only person here. Excuse me. Uh, over here if you'd be so kind, actually. So by the end, these guys were, uh, worshipping some slightly weird stuff. Yeah, definitely a bit of weird stuff. And they were offering it sugar. Sugar and rat poison, possibly. Ah, possibly mixed together. Possibly. Suicide cult may or may not have been, you know. Ooh, can I actually play the upright piano? Can I do that? Oh my goodness, my character just knows all the instruments. What am I going to play? I'm going to play something nice and, yeah, jaunty. Okay, I'm decided I'm just going to lift the mood of this satanic suicide cult. And oh yeah, human sacrifice was going on as well. But they were doing it at the back. So they weren't exactly overt about it, which is quite cute. You know, we're going to be part of a satanic suicide cult, but let's not, you know, go nuts and put it out in the open. Let's be polite and keep it at the rear. And the pastor, yeah, short hunting rifle, his vestments, and we got ourselves, hang on, do a search. And there we go. That is a successful scrounge right there. So I get an extra 6.38 rounds. That's... Barely even worth bothering with. Still, nice view from up here. Let's see if there's anything else around. Looks pretty quiet around these parts, to be honest. A tick somewhere down there, mind. And I'm pretty sure all of this here looting and crafting and scrapping, I've got myself, yep, one level up to seven. Now, I'm just going to put this into strength for now. I'll probably change my mind based on what's available. So, uh, I could get, oh, pack rat. How can it not be pack rat? But I've already got a spare point in strength, so I don't need to take that in order to have pack rat. That's certainly true. In fact, hang on. Let's just check what else I've actually... What else have I actually got here already? I've already got scrounger. Yeah, I don't have a farmer. I wouldn't mind having intelligence and first aid. That certainly would be... Actually, I've already got the first aid, sorry. That would be increasing first aid up to... Yeah, 30% more health. That I can probably do without. Hard bargain can do without that, to be honest. Endurance is just not very good. Pistols. You know what? I won't mind having pick lock. And if I want pick lock, I'm pretty sure I need an extra point in perception if I want to keep it on all the time. So, uh, pick lock, that is fine. We can put that on straight away. And pack wrap. That's going to save me a lot of flipping weight. And would you believe there's a safe right here? You know what? It was just taunting me. I just kind of want to open it now. Oh, yeah. My first flipping shotgun as well. By the way, I think I can hear a tick nearby. If there is, it's not attacking me just yet. Still, got myself my first shotgun, and uh, I do like the shotgun. It should start spawning in. Now I'm about level 7, those guys should start showing up a lot more. Now, nipping back over here. Yep, I've just got myself five gold waiting for me here, and I think I just got Bethesda there, just slightly Bethesda. Okay, razor grain is... Oh, well, I guess razor grain is technically sharp. If you run into it, does it hurt? Okay, none of the rest of them hurt. No, I was just being Bethesda physics. Sorry, I gave the engine a bit too much credit there. And there's copper. So as long as I hold these things, I'm just getting free resources. And gold and copper are not common. Like, you know, if this is anything like Fallout 4, somewhere around the mid-game, mid-tier crafting, around like level 20 or 30, copper will be valuable. This place is valuable to flipping hold, right flipping here. Like, you know, if you really want to be serious about this game, probably what you want to do is... The moment you actually get into a session, just go and find the workshop that's actually got the resources you're interested in and just immediately squat on it as best you can and just try and hold it for as long as possible. Though bear in mind, another player could just run up to that thing if they're willing to just run past the fire and grab the resources. There's one more thing I would like to do today as I've got this lovely big bit of open space to do it in, which is... 
What was that? I thought you were here, you bastard. Get out of my field. Out of my cocking field. What I want to do here is I would like to actually create a base. I would like to actually have myself a proper camp. Because I'm a bit sick of my camp just being, you know, oh, I have got myself one bit of foundation and on it is a stash box and a thing. No, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. So I'm going to move my camp. This gets a bit expensive, by the way. And I'd like to build something that's at least a little bit presentable. Okay, that's all I want. I've got a fair few resources right now. And I'm spending quite a bit just moving my camp back and forth. Okay, now thinking about it. The thing about West Virginia, very hilly, lots of slopes. So a big house, not appropriate because I won't be able to move it very easily. What I actually need is a skyscraper. Okay, skyscraper may be overstating what I'm about to build slightly, but that is what I need roughly. So let's just start off by laying out, yeah, just a four by four grid of foundations. Because what I want is just to have a nice little tower where we've got a first floor, which has got, say, crafting on it. And then you go upstairs and then you've got, say, you know, all your creature comforts, like your bed and whatever. And then maybe then you go upstairs from that and you've got yourself a nice little, like, you know, a lookout. So you can actually, you know, when you actually lay your camp down, you can actually use it as like a high ground to scout around and see if there's anything interesting. So if I was to do that, then in terms of stairs, how wide do stairs need to be? Oh, that's better. Yeah, an actual stair thing right here. Admittedly, that creates... Hmm. I mean, it does let me do this in a 2x2 two two grid. Which is probably a very good idea. Yes, okay. So now, I've got myself a nice little starting thing here. And, okay, I can do the other thing, the other side. Yes, okay, that works. Yeah, 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 this, this still works nicely. Okay, so now I've got that... I just need to actually put up some walls. And ideally, like, the nicest walls I can come up with. Do I have walls with windows yet? No. Plenty of this is locked away. I don't actually have, you know, the ability to do bricks or whatever. We're very much on the very, very scrappy, scrappy things for the time being. One door right there. It's better than nothing. Okay, it's a good starting point. That is, okay, these are the only doors I'm allowed right now. This is fine. So now I can go in here. And we've got ourselves, yeah, we've got ourselves a nice view out of here. This is lovely, and I can go upstairs. Okay, probably need to have myself a little bit of roof here as well. Okay, it's going to be very tight, but I think we've just got the wood for the two tiers here. Got ourselves our downstairs area, and we've got ourselves our upstairs area. Now, we might struggle a little bit with the roof, to be honest. I have got myself a couple of roof pieces I already actually built, so that is... Actually, that requires mainly steel. So we could just have a sunroof right here. That'll probably do for now, a nice sunroof. Yes, okay, time for the creature comforts I was mentioning then. So obviously, you know, the main creature comfort is going to be... No, not a fertilizer producer, that's definitely a bad idea. I need myself an actual... Do I actually have a... Okay, I don't have a bed yet. It is just a sleeping bag for the time being, I'll admit. But that's better than nothing, okay? So in many ways, it's not exactly the most beautiful structure in the world. And in fact, Cube possibly summarises it better than Skyscraper. But it's a start, okay? It's a start. I just wanted something that when I put it down, it actually felt like home. So now, I've actually got this. I'll just give you the walkthrough here. You know, you step in through the front door, you jump up. Some grass is glitching through the floor, admittedly. You've got yourself weapons workbench and armor workbench. Okay, that's good. That's not bad at all. Then there's a table for putting things on. A couple of lights, which is lovely, just in case it happens to be dark. You know, I can actually turn off my pit boy light and it still looks fine. My bed, which is admittedly not spectacular, but, you know, we'll work on that. And my own personal stash box. Right there. Okay? Not bad at all. In fact, if someone wants to come in and use the resources, they are more than welcome to. They can use my armor workbench. They can use my weapons workbench. When I unlock a sign that says welcome, I'll totally slap that above the door. That's 100% a-okay. Okay. And here we go. I have just quickly created myself a blueprint, which appears to actually contain literally everything. So yeah, you can just basically uh, just grow the selection until you've just eaten everything. So right now, as far as the game is concerned, everything that I have built here all belongs to the same blueprint. So I will now 
Create that blueprint. Marvellous. So I'll just put that one in there. And this is John Penny Towers. Lovely. Or just John Penny Tower, actually. There's, there's only one. There might be more later. This is going to be John Penny Tower right here. And now, whenever I actually move my camp, I can just slap that right down. And that's lovely. You know what? That means I've actually got a home right now. And, you know, if I wander off and do my own thing, and some other player comes down this way, and they just look up here, they'll actually see there's a little structure with light coming from inside it in the field. And that's where I think Fallout 76 is going to get really, really cool and really, really interesting. When people actually start getting to the stage where they're harvesting loads of resources and actually, you know, building really cool, big, interesting things. I can't wait to see what sort of structures are going to exist. Because I strongly expect that in the not too distant future, these buildings that you see dotted around the world here... They are going to be so uninteresting next to what the community itself is building. And that's what, that's what 76 is to me. There's so much it could be. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Hello, by the way, one of my... Are you flipping? Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you actually attacking my... Yeah, okay. So the ghouls have just respawned in. This isn't officially an attack, but enemies do just respawn. So I'm just going to quickly finish you off right there. So a couple of ghouls were trying... To steal my copper. Couldn't have that actually. Eight copper. And presumably eight gold as well. Together with all the food I could ever flipping want. You know what ladies and gentlemen. I'd say we should probably call it a part there. <laughs> you know we've made some decent progress here. I think I was up to level 11. In the Xbox playthrough. And I'm already up to. They're more flipping ghouls. Seriously guys chill out. Just just chill the hell out here. Just oh, You're level 9. And actually important person. Let's just knock you down. And... No. Sadly, nothing good on you. Yeah, the bosses are a real mixed bag. Sometimes they're really, really amazing. And sometimes they've just got absolutely nothing of interest on them whatsoever. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure how it's decided. Because, uh, yeah, they can really be like everything or nothing. That first one I found was absolutely amazing. Since then, I haven't found anything anywhere near as good. You know what? I should stop talking about 76. I could talk about 76 for hours. It's so interesting. It's got so much potential. I can't wait to see what it's going to become. Join me very, very soon, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue on in Fallout 76. And oh, yes, I think this is going to be very, very interesting indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 76. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.